Right, hello and welcome back to Doing Last Rise. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We're still going towards 500. But now it is time to get serious because today we've got an FA Cup semi final, so a chance to go to Wembley and a chance to make sure we stay in the Premier League. So we've got no time to waste. Let's get into it. So then, as you can see here, we have Leeds at home first, then Villa at home, another huge game. Then Everton at Wembley in the semi-final of the FA Cup and then Palace in the league. These are the only four games I'm doing today and I'm doing no sims, all played games because if we go and look at the league table, here we are. 15th place we're sitting, which isn't too bad. Of course, I don't normally show this, but Watford in 18th, they're on 29. Two points behind, a win in these few games and Watford dropping a few points should mean we're safe. And then Everton are actually only 13th, just above us. And they're in the semi final of the FA Cup. Are we going to do a Wigan? Are we going to go to the final but get relegated? Who knows? Let's go. Let's start well against Leeds and hopefully stay up. Our lineup then for Leeds is only one player different than normal. Adam starts instead of Morel. I just feel he's had a good episode, last few episodes, and he deserves another chance to start. So hopefully, three points in the league here. Right, we could do we kicking this off today with a good performance and a result, even if it's. If we don't get a good result today, I'm going to be worried because if Watford win, we be dragged back down and we're only two points ahead of the relegation zone. So we need to keep picking up points and three preferably. Bradley Bryan spots Jed Wallace going on the outside. It's very good. It's a very good start from us keeping the ball. Can we get the ball back to Alex Adams? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, we most certainly can. It pays off to start Alex Adams. Comes through with a great header and puts us one up. What, seven minutes in? Bradley Bryan overlapping Jed Wallace here at the moment. Now he just needs to get the ball somewhere. Alex Adams takes it past Phillips really well. It's been blocked, but can he go back again towards Jed Wallace, who started brilliantly? Yes, we can. Ten minutes in. It's the link up, but the other way around this time. As Adams plays the ball to Wallace, it's 2-0. This looking like three points as long as we don't bottle it. Jason Knight has popped up on the wrong side of the pitch for him, but we'll take it. Alex Adams to turn and take a strike. A good save. Alex Adams, the ball through for Cornick is there. It's obvious. And Harry Cornick is surely away from Lorente. He is. And he makes it three. I don't know why it was saying history beckons in the corner. I don't know because I don't have the commentators on. But I know that's nearly his 30th goal of the season. That's a good ball for Shackleton. And Pans, who's not got there. And out of nowhere, Leeds are back in it. I, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't concentrating enough. At least I've got a goal back. It's 3-1 in the first half. But I'm not too worried. I, I don't know how it's going to go, though. I was just thinking, really. It would be nice just to have an easy game. Start us off today. Get some good form. But if they get another goal back, we're in trouble. And they might just do that now. A good ball into Shackleton. But Ethridge makes the save. And really, I'm happy that half-time has just been blown for. Because Leeds seem to have picked themselves up after going three down. They've got themselves a goal back. And as I said, if, if they get another... I'm worried. Adams looking for his friend Wallace. It looks like those two have really linked up well so far today. Finally, Wallace, and he makes it in. He hasn't scored many this year, but that is a great finish. Jed Wallace with his second of the game, and it's 4-1. That certainly calms the nerves just a little bit now that we've got a three-goal lead once again. Leeds have got themselves a corner after a lucky bounce off of um, Collins, it was. And they look like they're going to whip it in well. They are up. They are up. And that's a block on the line by James Bree. Leads with their second corner then. Again, they've got a good header and it's come off his back. I don't know who that is, but that's hit him on the back and gone in. For some reason, I can't defend the corners against Leeds. That just hits. No, he's headed it, to be fair to him. 4-2. That's a great pass. And it was Neil Mope. He's in. Oh, what a save, Etheridge. Oh, on the counter after Etheridge saved in a corner that he just picked up really easily. Alex Adams has been sent in. Can he finish this one off? Yes, he can. Top corner and it's 5-2. This game has pretty much just been goals. But as long as we're winning, I don't care. About four minutes ago, we've got a corner. Any chance we can do something from them like Leeds have been doing? Yes, they've left me a free header, but not enough. Oh, Jed Wallace has won it back and that gives it to Alex Adams. I think he's on for a hat-trick here and he's going to get it. Alex Adams is going to get it right at the end. Gets himself a hat-trick. 6-2 we've just won with three goals from our 18-year-old Alex Adams. And there goes the final whistle. Well, I asked for a strong start to the episode and boy did I get that. Alex Adams gets himself a hat-trick. Wallace gets two and Cornick gets one. Brilliant. If we hadn't conceded two, it would have been a perfect game. But that's fine. It's great to build on. Let's do it again against Villa. 
We'll go straight into Villa then. I have rotated fully, except for Panzu, he'll come off, and Pearson, uh, not Pearson, sorry, Bradley Bryan will come on for him at some point. Villa, the success today would of course be points, but if we could injure Bora up front, that would be lovely as well, because I hate that man. Other than that, let's try and get another three points. We're at home again, let's do it. Nighttime game, midweek, Premier League. No, not much better, except when, of course, you get into Europe. But for now, we are at home to Aston Villa. We want to win. Let's go and get one. Paul played into Morel, into Dewsbury Hall. Is he going to get room for a shot? It looks like he is, but it's an easy, not an easy, but a decent save from Gomez. Good start for us. Velasco now, I'm still waiting for him to light up a game or of any sort. But that's a good ball for Nombe. He can't come back inside, though. That's a good ball in behind. Is Lockyer going to beat Bora to it? He's not. Edwidge come out and stop that one. How has it gone through him? He's given the penalty. That ball's rolling in. Oh, he's offside. Oh, he's not given the penalty. Oh, thank God. Trezeguet up against Kioso. Any chance we're going to get there? Yes, we are. Brilliant from Kioso. Fabri up for Morel. Can he make it into that gap? He can. Can we find Nombe on the floor? Yes. Brilliant play. Brilliant play from the from a throw-in. Not sure how much I've shown or when I was talking, but I was focusing hard. It's been tough so far, but Nombe finishes well. One up now. That's good. I just realised I've been sitting hella close to my mic as well. So I've sat back a bit now. Hopefully it's not loud. Nombe now. Not long left till half time. But that is a slip ball that I like to see. Fabry up against target. Comes inside him. There's Nombe. First time. It was always going to be blocked. And I think that should give us half time when the ref blows his whistle. Which he's not. There we go. Took his time to do it. But he's done it. A difficult half. We got lucky with that offside from Bora. But other than that, we've been okay. Of course, it's not the first 11. So it's not going to be as easy. But 1-0 up, I'm happy. And Serdar, they're going to go to Bora now. They've come out and started really well, Villa. But Pearson gets there just enough. But it's fallen for Bora. Of course it has. How has that not come to me? They've come out and started so fast. It's 1-1 one, one now. With just a bit of space to go for Fabry. He's done well to turn his man. Can he get the ball back to anyone? Nombe's there. It's a good block and it falls for them, not for me. Velasco out wide now. Any chance he's got a beating of uh, Celic? I don't really know. Uses Sabali, it's good. Fabri on the edge. Back to Mpanza. We're building well. Can we slip it? No, there's Mings. Camacho, that's good. It's gone into Bora. I've won it back. Thank God I'm just going to clear it. Oh, it's going to fall straight to Camacho. Velasco's no help whatsoever. How's he got into the box then with no one? Etheridge holds. I've had no chance to make a substitution and the scoreboard's broken. What is that throw? I'm not sure what's happened to the scoreboard, by the way. It's been like that for quite a while, but it has just broken. But it is still 1-1 one, one, and there's not long left at all. No, what is that Velasco, man? That was it there. That was the pass. Velasco just can't seem to make a pass. I'll take a draw. 1-1's one, not too bad, but... Really, they just came out flying so fast in the second half and the ball just fell. It wasn't nice for that for us at all. No real chances. We'll move into probably the biggest game of our season, the FA Cup semi-final. Well then, this is our first trip to Wembley. You know the team. Adam's for Morel now because he's playing so, so well. I had to rest him for the Villa game, of course. We're on decent form coming in. It's the FA Cup semi-final. Let's get to it. Look at that. We haven't been here before. This is our first time here with Luton. We didn't go up. We went up automatically We're, uh, through the Championship to the Premier League. So it is only the semi-final. I want to be coming back here for the final. But look at the boys walking out at Wembley Stadium. Jack Grealish for Everton there. There's some Everton fans. This, this is huge. This is massive, massive. Let's hope the lads can hold their nerve and get a win. Everton to kick it off then. It's nervous. I'm nervous. I really want to be back here for a final and I'll probably wear a suit as well if we get there. So let's see what happens. Alex Adams has picked up the ball and I actually don't even know where Everton's defence is. There's Tadebo. Back for Bradley Bryan. Can he just make it round? There's Dr Oh, Jed Wallace. I played it. He's offside. He finishes it really well. Jed Wallace is in some good form, but he was offside. So a good start from us, but that's my bad for playing the ball too late. Night into Mpanzu. And Panzu surely for Adams. That's great. Can I go back for a car? Oh, couldn't go for Cornick. Bradley Bryan turns around the corner for Adams for Cornick. Can he turn his man? Not quite. Jason Knight's coming through. It's a brilliant play from Luton Town. Cornick knew he wasn't going to make it. So Luton take the lead in the semi final against Everton at Wembley. Jason Knight with the goal. Brilliant work. Brilliantly worked. 1 0. <laughs> this has been an immense, an immense start from us. Everton have had their first bit of sustained pressure and they've gone through for Decore and they're going to strike it and he's going to finish it. 15 minutes after my goal. 
Everton get their own back, Ducore with it, and it's 1-1 in the semi. Oh, but Jason Knight's won it back after we lost it. Is Harry Cornick in now? Is he onside? It looks like he is. Harry Cornick doesn't miss from there. When it's just him at the, at the keeper, I'm shocked that we've just done that. But <laughs> we'll go back in front three minutes after. 2-1 now. Oh, it's a great pass through for Jack Grealish here. I'm going to bring it through. Jan Carter Vickers, and he's chipped it. There's just goals at the moment. It's 2-2 now. We haven't even reached 40 minutes yet. Bradley Bryant. Adams, there's the ball. <laughs> it's around for Cornick, please. Go on, Harry, finish that. Oh, no. James Bree now coming forward really well. Really well. Really well. Jed Wallace or Harry Cornick, either of them. But as long as we've got someone coming in the box, there's Alex Adams to slot it in at Wembley. Yes, it is. To make it 3-2 just before half-time. Literally, it's half-time, which we should be going. Alex Adams gets our third and will go in in front. And the ref then blows the whistle straight after the kickoff. Love to see it. Right, bit of a mad, mad semi-final. Something you love to see, especially as we're in front. Brilliant play from the boys. Three different goal scorers. Alex Adams stepping up at Wembley. I can't ask for more except a win. Let's go and get it. Cornick now. Surely there's Alex Adams. Can he let it run? Yes, he can. He's not going to be able to get it onto his uh, weak foot, but on his strong foot off the post. Are you kidding me? Jason Knight now with a chance. A great save. What a start to the second half from us. Yeah, they're going to come again. J J Blah. Jack Grealish is, who is who's in. Sonny Bradley coming with him, and he might just be able to get it away. Not quite. A good block. We'll get it out now. Jason Knight's been set away. Alex Adams is coming through. Is he going to get there first? He is. Is he going to chip the keeper? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. An hour in, we go 4-2 up, and that was exquisite. We were set away. This is a good pass. This touch is very heavy, but to then have, basically, just to have the balls to do that at 18 at Wembley. Unbelievable. Alex Adams, take a bow, son. Here we go again. Here we go again. Um, oh, I'm not sure if he was going to be onside or not, so I've played Jason Knight in instead. Oh, what a save. Jed Wallace on the head corner. Things can't get much better. Bradley Bryan to whip it in. Harry Cornick on his head off the crossbar. Are you kidding me? Ball's come out here to Gordon. Now we've got Carl Vickers standing with him and taking the ball off him. Brilliant defending. Grealish, he's been there danger, man. That's a good ball to Isaac. Oh, Barnes is in, and he's going to get a goal back for Everton. It's now 4-3. What a semi-final this is. But we're still in front. Everyone's just losing their head at the moment. Let's just calm down, keep the football, keep it simple, and everything should be fine. Although I say keep it simple, I am lifting that one over. Alex Adams on his head was never scoring. Five minutes to go. As I was saying, just be calm. We keep the football. They haven't gone forward much since then. Neither have we. But now's our chance. Alex Adams slips in Harry Cornick. Is he on? I don't know, but I'm going to keep going. And I'm probably going to finish it. There's the game one final of the FA Cup here we come I don't know who we're going to be playing but I think we might win it I mean at this stage there's probably still time for us to get a sixth Jason Knight takes his time whips it over for Adams oh it's not a good header at all but it doesn't matter because we're through to the final of the FA Cup we may be sitting down in the bottom third of the league but FA Cup wise we're at the end for we could still get Europe if we win this cup unbelievable great performance from the lads Alex Adams being top class again. 18 years old, that kid, remember? 18. What a scout he was. I can't believe it. I think as well, if we win this next league game, we're probably away from relegation too. So, all in all, fantastic so far. Well, I mean, right now, we couldn't be in any better form than we are. This is probably the best form we've been in all season. A win here doesn't guarantee it survival but makes it pretty improbable that in the last episode we'll go down so let's end off this fantastic episode today with a win here at Selhurst Park I didn't mention the team but I have of course gone with Adams still in the starting lineup and and the, the team basically the beat Everton is the team that are playing now they're in so much good form that they can't be dropped this 11 can't be dropped at the moment so let's hope we can keep doing it Adams picking the ball up and going at Mamadou Sacco and just waiting there's the perfect run what a start this will be oh come on where's this form been all all season we're absolutely flying brilliant 1-0 you know what it's coincided with Alex Adams starting in the team because he's just given the ball away there that's my fault but since he's been good and starting 
We've been winning. Ryan with the ball over the top, and I believe Harry Corning's going to reach it. He is. A couple of touches. A good save. Jason Knight's going to let it go for a corner. Any chance we're going to get anything from this? Harry Corning up. Is he going to win it? He did win it, but it goes over. And it's Adam spotting Bradley Bryan again. Again. It's Adams to Bryan, and it's 2 0. 12 minutes in. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe we didn't win from August until December. And now we play like this. Ball for Volland. Up against Carter Vickers, I think. I've got there with Bradley Bryan, I have. What is that? Oh, no. So Bradley Bryan starts well. Scores two goals. Then I try and pass to Etheridge to clear and it goes to Bree. And um, you'll look here. Bryan makes a good tackle. I'm trying to pass that to Etheridge. And then, uh, yeah, Etheridge nearly makes a save. Unlucky. Super ball for Loren. Is he going to turn Bradley? He is. He's going to go to Volland. Up against Carter Vickers now. That's a good ball for Heinrichs. It's a good finish. I just couldn't get there. To be fair, they kept the ball away from me nicely. It's 2-2. Two -two. And I'm um, not looking good anymore. Ball with Adams. Goes for Knight. Is he going to finish that? Oh, the bouncing ball just wasn't sitting right for him. Could do a score in that, though. And there goes the half-time whistle. I mean, it started great. First 15 minutes, we scored two goals, and we were in front and looking comfortable. Then something not great happened, and then they played well and scored a second. So, second half, sort of play for. Adams, acres of space in the centre circle. Is that really what you want to give him? I don't think so, because that's a fantastic pass for Knight, but Perrick is fast. It's fallen for Bradley Bryan on the edge, just wide. Jason Knight trying to play in Alex Adams, and that is a wonderful pass. Adams in. Surely, no, it's going to fall for Cornick. We will score. That is unfortunate, you know, for Jason Knight, because he's played a lovely through ball there, and he's not going to get the assist for it. Gornick gets a goal and we go in front. Zaha now dancing through us and he's got so much pace. I don't know if Etheridge is going to make that. Wilfred Zaha has just run through the whole team and got Palace back on level terms again. I can't believe it. Ball with Cornick. Surely he's going to go out wide. He is. Jason Knight now up against Heinrichs. Can we come inside him? Just about. Go on, Knight, please. Oh, it's wide. Palace are working it well. Zaha through to Van Arnholt now. Can we stop anything? Sonny Bradley steps in so well. Jason Knight again looking to get anywhere. I'm not sure I can, but I can find Bradley Bryan with him. Take a few touches and has the shot. What a terrible, terrible shot. Sonny Bradley knocks it forward, but it's not going to be there. It's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, we should have won that game. Realistically, definitely should have won that game. Uh, only a point isn't good enough, but I mean, it is good enough probably to keep us up, uh, realistically. We're, we're far enough away now. We'll see the league in a minute, but... We were better, and we should have won that game. But look, we'll move, we'll move on. We'll go to everyone's favourite little bit now and uh, see who wins that. But I think you might know. We scored a lot of goals today, and it's thanks to, in the most part, today's winner of Player of the Episode. And that is, of course, Mr. Alex Adams at 18 years old. 18. He went and bagged a hat-trick, I think, against Leeds. I think then in the FA Cup, he scored twice. At Palace, he just ran the game, got two assists in it. He's 18, and he, as much as Morel is really good, I can't start, I can't not start, should I say, Alex Adams. I just can't. So he wins play the episode today. He will probably play in the FA Cup final as well, and if he's on this form, considering the rest of the league, uh, I just don't know. I can't explain how good he is. He's fantastic. We'll check the league, and then I want to explain... How we're going to end the season. So if we look here, we're 15th, which is in and around where we've been this whole season. We haven't actually, we've only actually won eight games, which really isn't good, but it's fine. 12 draws, 36 points, right? Which leaves us seven points away from relegation when, when Watford have only got two games to play and everyone else below them has also only got that. So we're safe. We are officially safe, which is great. You'd love to see it. So we don't really need to look this much because we're not going to be going any higher because um, Leeds are 42 points and that's too far away so it's not happening but what I want to show you is the calendar so now we are here this is where we are we're in May we've got three league games left Everton, Brighton and Arsenal Do and then I'm going to do the FA Cup final on its own one-off special and you know what I might even put a suit on for it I might just do that we'll, we'll, we'll see and then I'll do the squad report after that because we'll get to the end of the season. So we've got two episodes left in this season. And then we could be playing Europe next year. If we beat Tottenham in that final. Don't miss them. They're going to be huge. Right. Now. Thank you for watching basically. I'm going to end it here. I appreciate every one of you that does watch them. Do leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that FA Cup final. Don't forget to turn notifications on. So you don't miss when it goes live. And I will see you all 
in the next one.